Hello and greetings from Austria and welcome back for another chicken special. Today it's all about the best egg laying breeds. I will show you 10 different breeds and they are all true breeds so they are not hybrid chickens or something else. Some of them are very good egg layers, others do have eggs with a very unusual coloring and others are very good winter egg layers. There is also a bantam dime included. So thank you very much for watching this and all the best wishes for you and your poultry. <laughs> the Lagbear is a rare British chicken breed which should be more popular because it has wonderful utility properties. It was created by crossing leghorn chickens with Barrett Plymouth rocks and then adding Araucana genes to the stock. Because of the Araucana genes, the cream leg bear lays green eggs. These green eggs are laid in huge numbers by the hands because of the genes of leghorn and Plymouth rocks. The cream leg bear has a good camouflage plumage for a free range area and it looks beautiful because of its little crest of feathers on the back head. The cream leg bar is also fantastic because it's an auto sexing breed, which makes breeding much easier. It's easy to recognize the little roosters from the first day on, because they are much paler and do not show so much brown and golden feathers in their plumage. If it's only about the number of eggs, the Earl of Chicken would not be in the video with the best egg laying chicken breeds. But there is a good reason for keeping the Earl of as an egg laying breed. The Earl of hens are very good egg layers in winter time. When all the other breeds stop laying because of coldness, they will maybe be the only chickens which keep going on with producing eggs. The eggs can vary a lot in color and have a very good size. In its modern appearance, the Orlov was created in Russia and it's a very cold tolerant breed because of its small beak hump and its beard. They also have a somewhat game-like experience, that's because of their ancestors. The brown leghorn is one of the oldest chicken breeds in the world, which were exclusively kept for egg production. It's the ancestor of all the other members of the big leghorn family and is named after a seabird in Italy where it comes from. The rooster of the brown leghorn is a colorful bird and it has many similarities with the wild jungle foal. Leghorn hens do lay white eggs. For comparison, here the egg of a brown hybrid chicken. If you want to start with the leghorn chickens, you have to know that this breed is very active and will need more space than some of the calmer chicken breeds. Leghorns are perfect for a big farmyard where they can go where they want to all day long. Hens of this breed seldom go broody and if so they aren't very good mothers. If you did like the cream leg bar on number 10, you will for sure also like the Bielefelder chicken. Bielefelders are also a member of the very small group of the auto sexing chicken breeds, but unlike the cream leg bars, they do lay brown eggs. The brown eggs of the Bielefelders are often speckled with dark brown little dots. That looks very beautiful. Bielefelder hens are said to be very good egg layers and so maybe that's the reason why this relatively young breed is very popular in Europe now. Bielefelders also can be tamed very easily and are calm natured. Their home country is Germany, where they have been developed in the 70s. There is also a beautiful bantam variety existing.
The most important chicken breed which lays green or bluish eggs is in fact the Araucana chicken from South America. It's also said to be a very good egg layer, but I think there are different strains existing and some are more kind of showbirds. The young chicks of the brown colored variety are absolutely cute because they do have dark brown camouflage striping on their back. The Araucana is also sometimes called South American Rumpless Chicken, you can easily see why. <laughs> the Sulmthaler Chicken from Austria has always been a very heavy breed, knowing for its top quality meat and said to be one of the finest breeds for the table. But in our days, the hens also do produce a big number of creamish white eggs and that's because of a Bavarian department for stock breeding which has selected a new strain of very good egg laying Sulmthalers. That's the reason why the Sulmthaler is now one of the most popular old breeds of chicken in Austria, Germany, Switzerland and other European countries. Sulmthalers are also very good mother hands. The Marantz chicken from France is known in two different types which can be distinguished by the feathers on the legs. The European version is booted and known in France for more than 100 years. The American version has no feathered legs. But what is very special about this breed is not that there are two versions, it's the color of the eggs. Marantz eggs do show the deepest brown color of all chicken breeds. The Marantz is also a very friendly and calm bird so it's the perfect breed for beginners. If you are looking for a small bantam chicken, which is a very good egg layer, the bantam summer is definitely one of the best choices you can make. Versamers are among the most popular chicken breeds worldwide because they produce very big sized eggs. Even in the case of the Bantam Versamers, the size of the eggs is amazing, especially for such a small bird. For comparison here the egg of a white leghorn chicken. Where summer bantams are not as calm as the heavy original sized versamers are, but they are friendly enough to be an ideal introduction of poultry keeping. The plumage color patterns of the versamer bantams are very similar to those of the brown leghorn. So the versamer bantams have a good camouflage for a big natural area. As the name suggests, the New Hampshire chicken is an American breed, developed at the New Hampshire Agricultural Experiment Station in the early 20th century. It's often said to be a baler version of the famous Rhode Island Red chicken. And indeed, the Rhode Island Red was the most important ancestor for this breed. The eggs of the New Hampshire hens have a brown color and are laid in huge numbers. But the New Hampshire chicken is also good for meat production, so it's a very good dual purpose breed in our days. As I did mention earlier in the video, the brown leghorn is the most important ancestor of the whole leghorn family, which includes various chicken breeds. There are show leghorns for poultry exhibitions, such as the English leghorn, 
but there are also the millions of white industry leghorns included, which are bred by hybrid crossing. No matter which type of leghorn you will choose, they are all outstanding egg layers and will produce a huge number of white eggs. In case of the industry leghorns, they are a little bit bigger and they will lay more of them in the first year. One of the most beautiful leghorn chickens is for example the exchequer leghorn. Exchequer leghorns are outstanding birds with their black and white plumage patterns. It's often confused with the Ancona chicken which is also a member of the leghorn family, but Anconas do show a mottled coloration, while the exchequer leghorns are biot. Thank you very much for watching this, all the best wishes for you and your poultry and if you want you can follow me on Instagram.